This is Dr. Emily Scherning with AR. We got your climate forecast for 2050 in the Midwest. Now, if you're in the Midwest, I have some good news for you. And if you're not in the Midwest, you might want to listen up on this one because this region has some pretty manageable risks. As we come up on our known forecast, looking at America in 2050, the Midwest is still super habitable. Let's take a step back. The Midwest, aka flyover country. Why don't people want to live here anyway? Let me tell you, it's because it's so often gross here. We have every kind of bad weather. We have gigantic floods pretty much all the time. We have tornadoes. Those are very scary. You have to shovel snow. And there's so many bugs. Bugs that bite you. Bugs that crawl on you. Bugs that make scary noises. So what's great about 2050 Midwest is that we're going to keep having all of that. The snow and the bugs. The bottom line is a lot of things here are going to do their best to kind of stay the same. You know, the Midwest has been rocking that vibe for a while. You know, we're looking at challenges, we're looking at changes, but in the Midwest, the challenges we're facing are not catastrophic. If we face them head on, the challenges that we're looking at are what a person might call opportunities. In the Midwest, we've been having a lot more of those extreme storms even now. If you're here in 2021, you've been in one of these storms. They drop like two inches of rain on you in an hour. The water's coming in sideways. It wasn't even forecast that afternoon. These kind of extreme storms. I'm afraid I got to tell you, by 2050, those are going to be worse. And they're pretty much the way we're going to get our rain. So you got two problems to face there for 2050. One of them is improving your drainage. And the other is saving that water to put on your plants. Because if it's been a couple of weeks from a storm, things are going to be pretty dry. Now, those of you who live in relationship with the land, I bet you're listening to me thinking that I'm missing a big point when I talk about these rains. And you're right. We got to talk about what those rains are going to do to our soil. You know, if you get a storm right after that you've done some work on your land, you're going to lose all the chemicals you applied. They're going to go right down into the watershed. You're going to lose a lot of the work you put in and you're going to lose soil. And the soil is what you can't replace. And folks, it's a real problem. We're using up the soil. We're losing our topsoil. The soil in the Midwest is our most precious resource and the fate of our region and all the people that we feed is going to rest on what we can do to preserve and defend and rebuild our soil. Currently, the government thinks that by 2050, we're going to take a real hit in agricultural production. We're going to get knocked back to about 1980s levels. And that agricultural output is going to be even more important than it has been before. So it's rough, but you might know, you might have heard or remember that in the 1980s, the Midwestern agricultural output was already incredible. A farmer might be feeding 120 people. So this means that the Midwest does have the potential to keep feeding America. And I have faith in our farmers' abilities to keep trying new things and finding out what works. It's a tolerable productivity forecast. It's not great, but it's not catastrophic. If we dig into it, If we make sure to save the soil, we can do a lot of good here in the Midwest. Folks in cities and towns, you might want to know, what should you do to prepare? Like I said earlier, focus on those water problems. And especially in developed areas, it's going to get a lot hotter in the summer. So you're going to want to think about cooling. You want to know how hot it's going to get, you really should check out a regional forecast, a local forecast, like a city, county level forecast. I can get that for you. There's a lot of variability in this region. Some of us, especially like down in Missouri, the heat you're looking at is pretty serious and it's going to be the humid heat that can be a real health problem. Access to cooling is going to be important, not just for keeping people healthy, but for larger animals too. And cooling, it's worth saying that cooling is not just about air conditioning. You can help cool your land, you can help cool your community by planting more trees. You know, if you want trees in 2100, I know I do, we got to plant those trees today. There's some predictions that we're going to lose 40% of our current tree coverage by 2050 because of the changes that are coming up. So if you have any land at all, if you've got a little yard, if you have any property, you've got to find yourself some heat tolerant, water stress tolerant trees, and you need to plant them. Those are going to be the trees people are going to have two generations down, and they're going to need them. You can leave a legacy that will make people honor and respect you because you took the time to prepare. So let's take a second to wrap this up. Midwest Midwest climate forecast 2050. It's going to be a fair amount warmer in the winter, but it's still going to freeze in most of the region. It's going to be warmer in the summer, but not like catastrophically hotter. The big thing to think about is water. When you're going to have extreme storms, we need the infrastructure to handle them. And we got to think about our soil. 
We gotta love the soil in the Midwest. We gotta protect it and we gotta defend it. This is Dr. Sherning with AR signing out. Please like and subscribe, help get the message out there. There's hope. We can prepare for what's coming. Let's get ready.